Acrobat Telecommunications International is one of the leading companies in telecommunications in Africa. This is a typical day at one of its branches in Wusetu, Abuja, Nigeria. Customers standing outside the office of Acrobat Telecom's Wuse branch waiting for the office opening time. Hi, Bello. This is going to be a long day. Why do you say that? Haven't you seen the number of customers outside waiting to be served? Oh, that? I have seen busier days. I just take it in my stride. I am ready for them. Bring it on. Bello brings out a notepad, starts to look through some items written on it, ticks a few of them off, and then jots a few things down on it. It's 9 a.m. Customers begin to troop in. Customer 1 walks to Bello's desk. Good morning, ma. Welcome to Acrobat Telcom Wuse. How may I be of help to you today? See, si, I know they're happy with Una. I buy a recharge card yesterday and I load them. You know, green load. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Please, do you have the recharge card here? Yes. See ya. Thank you, ma. Can I have your phone number as well? Yes. 081-85-0215. Okay, got it. I can see that this card is still valid. Please, what error message did you get on your phone when you loaded the card? I don't remember. Okay. Please, what code did you type before this long number? Star 111 star. Oh, that's why. It's meant to be star 121 star. Star 111 star is for gymnastic telecom. Ah, it's true. I don't forget to now, oh no. I understand, ma. Please try loading it again now. Correct. It don't enter. That is great. Will there be anything else, ma? No, except you won't dash me more credit. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. And please, I would advise that you save our PIN code on your phone as a contact. That way, you will be able to retrieve it when you forget. It is also written at the top of all our recharge cards, ma. Thank you, my son. I go do am now. Woman walks out smiling and contented. You are patient, Obello. I don't have patience for a customer's ignorance. You have to, Okola. They are your real employers. Because now then they pay our alawi, not Mr. Chooks. Talk of the devil. Nine o'clock. Mr. Chooks is coming our way. The branch manager, Mr. Chooks, makes his way to Kola's desk. Morning, sir. Morning, Kola. I haven't seen the 100 configurated SIM cards for the Ghana Bank's CUG network. The branch manager is coming in today. As I told you on Monday, you are meant to have handed them to me by Wednesday morning, which was yesterday. Um, um... Please, don't tell me you haven't done it. The lady is on her way here now. Sir, I completely forgot. I have been busy with stock taking of the thousands of new sims and mobile phones that came in, which you asked me to do yesterday. What? You gave priority to that over a major client's work that I asked you to do? You only meant to supervise that work and then make sure this 100 CUG we are configured before Wednesday morning deadline I gave you. If you had planned your day better, you would have gotten it all done. I am so sorry, sir. I am so sorry. Sorry? Just pray that the manager does not make a big deal out of it when she comes in. You will not just receive the query I'm about to write for you now. You will lose your job as well. Mr. Chooks storms off. Customer 2 walks to Kola's desk. Good morning. What is good about the morning? I remember you now. Were you not the one that attended to me yesterday morning? And you promised to reactivate my data within one hour. Uh-uh. Now this is 24 hours later. 24 whole hours. No data. And I use this thing for my business. Eh? I had to go and find Phil in this scarcity 
just to come to your office to have this data reactivated. What is it? What is it now? I'm so sorry, Ma, for that. I will do that right away. That's what you have to say. See this man, oh, sorry. Do you know the amount of important emails I have missed? Because I had no internet to receive them. Eh? Do you know? I am really sorry, Ma. I, I, will, I will rectify it now. I will. Across the room on the other side. Kai Gaskia, what a day Kola is having. Yeah, it's because Kola never plans his day when he gets into work. A simple to-do list at the start of the day will solve his problem. It is lunch time. Kola, Bello and a few other colleagues make their way to the office refectory to eat. Kola, what is happening to you? You seem to leave a lot of things undone. Are you having issues at home, Ni? Which issues at home? This single man with no responsibilities, me with my five kids and wife at home, and you won't believe we earn the same salary. Hmm, I need help. Oh. I just can't handle a lot of tasks simultaneously. Which ones to prioritize? I just do work as it comes. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. However, since Chudima Deguri is here, I would allow her to tell you one or two things about organizing yourself better by using a to-do list. I even thought it was one new thing. I have done the to-do list thing before, Joe. It's a waste of time. Anytime I write one thing to do, either Mr. Chooks gives me so much work to do or there are lots of customers to attend to. So I don't end up doing any of the things on my list. Besides, where is the time to write a to-do list? Once I get to work, there's already a lot of work to do. Kola, I understand what you're saying, but there are ways around these supposed obstacles. Let me give you a crash course on how to use a to-do list and how you can make it work for you. Rules for writing to-do lists To ensure that your to-do lists work all the time, follow these rules. Start each day with a to-do list. Do not switch on your computer or start doing any tasks until you have taken about two to three minutes to write out your list. Do not write large items like complete the project, especially where there are a number of component parts of the project that may still spill into the next day. Rather, break down your project into smaller activities and write them down. Write with impact. Ensure that you capture time frames. Example, meet with Amina at 2.20 p.m. Use conditional statements to enhance focus. Example, respond to email from Ukut once I finish meeting with Nike. Your day will be interrupted by other items from bosses, colleagues, and clients. Be prepared to accommodate them. When you receive an instruction or request from your boss, colleague, or client, do not rush to respond to it immediately. Note it down on your to-do list. This way, you will not forget and you can keep proper track of all your activities. What is that? An encyclopedia? <laughs> Funny, Bello. That is my notepad. As you can see, I am trying to write down my to-do list for the day. Wow, that is really good. Good morning, sir. How may I help you this morning? Good morning. I called on Friday regarding a SIM I lost. I'm here to deactivate the old SIM and get a new one. We are having some network challenges this morning. It will be rectified in the next hour. I will register a new SIM for you now and it will be activated in the next two hours. I hope it will be that I won't have to come back here again. Yes, it will be, sir. I will ensure it is done as soon as our network comes back on. He sits down on his desk and begins to scribble down on the notepad. Close of work. So, Kala, how did your day go today? Today must be my best day in a while. I got to do a lot of work. 
even those added today by customers and Mr. Chooks. This to-do list thing rocks. Hola, I hope the list of lines we need to reactivate for Gina pensions would be on my decks tomorrow morning as I asked you. And I won't have to remind you like I always do. Actually, sir, I was just about to take them to your desk so you would see them first thing when you come in tomorrow. Really? That would be great, Kola. Well done. I would love to see more of this Kola in future. 